Hello guys and welcome to Till Vacuum Do Us Part and welcome to my holiday clean and decorate with me. Basically before all of our friends and family come over, I need to deep clean some areas. I also wanna put out a little bit new decor that I didn't add in my Christmas decorating video. I have dinner started, so we have lots to do today. If you're new here, go ahead and click that red subscribe button down below. And now let's jump straight into today's video. So for dinner, I had made a roast. I love just picking these up from Walmart. It's like a pre-made kit and all you do is throw it in. I do this all the time. I've been doing this in our last three houses. It's just so easy and simple to do, especially if you have a really busy day and you need a home cooked meal that night. It's just so nice coming home to and the house smells amazing. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this finished. I'm getting it prepped because Savannah's about to leave for dance. So I'm gonna let her eat and then I'm gonna put all of ours left over in the fridge for us to eat later. Anytime I show my like crock pot or air fryer or toaster, you guys always ask where it's from because it's such a beautiful design. It's actually the beautiful collection from Walmart and it's a very affordable price. So definitely check that out. And actually while we're talking about Walmart, I do want to thank them for sponsoring today's video. So we all know they have amazing like grocery prices. You guys can see all my appliances are from there, all my dishes. I could buy anything and everything from Walmart, but don't forget about their holiday decor selection. They have the most beautiful pieces and I feel like they've just really upped their game recently when it comes to all of their like decor, especially seasonal decor. Their candles are gorgeous. I grabbed some garland and it was like under $4 and there's so much you can do with that. So if you're decorating this year and you're on a tighter budget or you're wanting to switch your style, but you don't wanna spend a ton of money, don't forget to check them out because they have some really cool pieces. Another thing I pick up for every holiday is just extra like paper plates and napkins. I feel like if you have kids, this is just a really fun way to celebrate like the entire month or couple months. I also like having this out when we're hosting. So when we get to like dessert and just snacking for the rest of the day, we don't have a ton of dishes. So if we're making like a big dinner, we'll use my nice plates. But for the rest of it, we just use this really fun, festive like plates and napkins and then it can be tossed when it's done but it's very festive it looks very cute sitting out and i think it's a really great alternative for your kids table so maybe you don't have enough like large nice plates for everybody that's coming over or you just have a lot of little ones grabbing these really cute festive plates for any holiday will just make the kids table fun and you don't have to worry about them breaking anything or messing anything up I did call in backup to help me with my garland. So Chase got up high and was putting this on top of my cabinets. You guys know I added a ton of greenery in my house for Christmas. I have bare trees everywhere, but I felt like when you looked in my kitchen, it was just a little too wide. I didn't have much greenery in there. So I felt like for a total of like six something, it was like under $7 um, to put two of these strands up here. It just added Christmas over on that side. So it kind of balances out, um, but garland is so easy to put anywhere you can put it over mirrors you can put it on headboards you can put it you know in bathrooms in the kitchen over chairs it's just so versatile and this was under four dollars so definitely pick it up get creative you can even add lights to it if you need to so don't forget to check walmart out this season when you start decorating your home they have amazing things online and it can be delivered straight to your door or you can go in store for pickup but i'm telling you you're gonna find what you love there at amazing prices but now I'm gonna move back into the kitchen where I was cleaning. So I was finished with dinner, so I'm gonna go ahead and get my crock pot clean um, so we can move on to deep cleaning the rest of the house. Recently, 
finally, I went ahead and took my placemats off my table. I've had those on there for actually a really long time. And as much as I love the look on there, and it was nice that like the table wasn't getting scratched, I will say it is so much easier to clean my table without them there. And they were kind of like a burlap or jute of some sort. So I felt like they just held the crumbs and I was always shaking them off. So I don't know if you guys noticed that change. I feel like you guys noticed everything, but I did remove those and life has been a little bit easier lately to clean. Since we are cleaning for the holidays, one area that I really needed to work on was our guest bedroom because when family comes in, they typically stay at my house or my mom's house, but I love to have my guest bedroom ready just in case. So sometimes they decide last minute, like the kids are gonna come to my house or the adults are and they like split up and I've learned my lesson not having this room ready to go. So I prep it no matter what. Even if guests aren't planning on staying, you might go ahead and just go in there and give it a deep clean so if someone needs to stay it's ready to go and you don't have to panic so basically I'm gonna go through first and just do a lot of dusting clear off the nightstands dust the lamps you're gonna see me just focus on those areas first I feel like sometimes when you're deep cleaning a space, you may forget to do the doors. And if you have white painted doors like mine, they do get a little dirty because I feel like we don't hold the handle all that much. These doors just kind of push shut and so they will get dirty. And a lot of sleepovers happen in this room. Like I said, a lot of my guests are little kids or I shouldn't say little kids, they're like preteens, but they're not like adults. So it does get messy. They have snacks and food in here. So don't forget to clean those doors and like doorknobs. And then don't forget to do the window sills. I have to do this because George looks out this window all day long, but even if you don't have pets, it can get dusty. So just remember to dust some of those areas. And another one that kind of gets left out is like the TV and behind the TV. And you're gonna see me dust that floor um, fan as well. Don't forget to clean those areas because they tend to get a lot of dust and sometimes we just overlook them. And then of course, next up is fresh sheets. So make sure you get them washed. I like to do them right before they come. So they're just nice and fresh. Maybe your sheets are already clean, but you could take them off, throw them in the dryer with like a dryer sheet or just spray like a linen spray on them. Just make sure they're nice and fresh and they feel clean for your guests coming in. Da, 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 da. Making our Christmas memories. I've been working so much lately. I can barely find the time to sleep. Yeah, I spend my time running around, keeping people pleased. Now I'm gonna work on putting the comforter on. I did run and grab a new one because having a white comforter in here with George isn't like the easiest thing. Um, he loves to look out this window and with all honesty, we get very few visitors over a year. And when it is, it's family and like my parents love my dogs. Um, so they're not concerned. They're like in the guest bedroom every day. Um, but I do like to get everything washed. So I love to wash the comforter and all that, but I was just needing a fresh one. One. So just a little tip, if your guest bedroom is your dog's pet room, which can happen sometimes because <laughs> your pets live there, um, I just kept my other comforter to throw on top. So at least the rest of the year when someone walks in here, um, I just have my white comforter on. But if it gets dirty, it's okay. It's the used one. And then when people need to come, I have this nice clean one. So just to keep that in mind, if your guest bedroom is just more versatile like mine, and I feel like most of them are, they're like part office or part homeschool room or part playroom. So just have like an everyday comforter that can be used and loved and then have a nicer comforter for when your friends and family come over to stay. Wake up in the morning I'm gonna play those carols that you love We'll be singing all the melodies until the sun comes up this is pretty much a given, but make sure to vacuum the carpet just so it's nice and clean. There's no crumbs, there's no dog fur, but also think to clean under what you normally would just do a quick vacuum. So like I picked up the curtains. Um, you can't really see it from this angle, but I vacuumed like around and under um, like the nightstands. You can go inside the closet. Just do a little bit deeper clean than you would on just like a normal cleaning day, like speed cleaning through your house. 
Just a reminder, if it's your guest bedroom, make sure you have chargers in there. I like to keep a book and a flashlight, maybe even a bottle of water. I have lots of videos on like how to prep for guests, but it's just nice to have those things right there in the nightstand so they can grab them if they need them. Now the next space we're going to work on is my daughter's bathroom because that is the guest bathroom if someone's going to be staying the night. So we have a powder bathroom, so if they just need to go to the bathroom, we do have that. But if they need to like shower and get ready, obviously this is where they're going to be. So in our last house, we actually had three full baths and in this one we had two and a half. I can't wait to get to the new house because our guests will have their own bathroom, um, which will just be super nice because you know like guests and preteens probably aren't a good mix. <laughs> now Savannah is very clean and very organized, but she gets booted out when company comes over. So it'll just be nice that she'll have her own space in the next house. Christmas is right here. Well, I've got news for you, I know you're waiting, Christmas is right here. Hold on, it's time for it to reappear. This is just a friendly reminder, if you have little ones, it does get easier. Um, I was in here cleaning and it's funny like the amount of times I've actually cleaned this bathroom since we moved in is like I can count it on one hand and it's probably all done on a video. Um, just as they get older they help out more you can help them like teach them how to clean it. I always tell Savannah just like clean yours while you're in the shower. I give her a little wand with like cleaner in it and she can just scrub it and rinse it out while she's in there and so very rarely do I have to come in here and I will occasionally just to give it an overall deep clean because obviously as adults we're gonna clean it probably a little bit deeper than like kids and preteens but it is amazing when I come in here and I haven't cleaned it in like three or four months <laughs> that it's not all that bad because she's kind of maintaining it for me that brings me to a tip I used to share all the time and basically I always say leave cleaning products underneath every sink and it may take a few months to build that up but if you have cleaners right under the sink you're just more likely to clean it often especially if kids have them at reach they're going to grab it if they have to go look for it they're not going to so make sure they have all the supplies they need but not too many where it's too overwhelming just the basics. I've been putting this off for so long, but at the same time, I've been like dying to do it. So I'm glad it's getting done, even though it's just not something I like think to clean on a daily basis or want to clean. And it's gonna be kind of hard to tell, but up close, right, like right here where George lays, some of it's shadows, some of it's George, but it's really dark right here. Can you see the different color? And you can tell he like rubs up against here and then all the way across the bottom. The top's pretty clean, I'm still gonna clean it, but I wanna get all that clean. And then up here, it is so dusty. So I wanna go ahead and just get all of this shampooed. So that is what we're gonna be working on now. There's nothing like family coming to your house and knowing you're gonna sell your house to like start getting things super duper clean. notice the outfit changes I'm not changing for every scene I actually film this on different days life has been so busy sometimes I can't clean or deep clean my entire house in one day like cleaning this bed was enough for one day it was exhausting and like cleaning the guest bedroom was enough for one day so definitely break it up if you know people are coming over don't save it until the night before try to just work on one area every single day so it just takes a few minutes and then you're done and you can enjoy the rest of the day Thank you. 
Okay, so after cleaning that spot, I paused and put a fan on it. This is like a linen material and I don't think it worked well. Um, I didn't think much about it because I've actually shampooed this bed before, but it was mainly over here on this tufted side. So I paused to see, okay, if I dry it, is it gonna look better? And it's not. So I grabbed just my bowl with hot water and powdered Tide, and I'm just gonna hand clean it and see if that does any better because I really can't mess it up more at this point. So I have to see if I can get this clean. Just so you know, this is like such an affordable way to clean. Run to Walmart or put it on your next like Walmart delivery list and just grab powdered Tide and it's going to last you forever. So you're gonna get a big box of it, just put it in a jar, keep it in the box, but you just add like a teaspoon to a bowl of hot water and you can clean anything and everything. It's so affordable. I clean like the inside of my cars, furniture, tabletops, like every single thing. No one cares about it's looking a little better, so I'm gonna go ahead and let this sit. I'm gonna put the fan on it, and then I might go ahead and just start hand washing the bottom of the rest, because I think this is gonna work better. Okay, so in my opinion, if you have a bed like mine and it's more of a linen, I would definitely just hand clean it with Tide and water because this spot did a lot better. Now, it's always gonna get a little darker when it's wet, so don't panic and it is gonna dry. I feel like once this dries, I'm gonna have to clean it one more time, but just by doing the hand cleaning like over here, it cleaned off just a lot easier and faster and it's not as wet. Yes, I am on my way. bottom is still wet so we're not gonna be able to tell like how clean I got it until it dries I am gonna go ahead and do the top of it right here because I feel like it gets dirty but just from the bottom that's how dirty my water got so I'm gonna go switch it out for fresh water so I know we got it cleaner I just don't know if I'll have to do like another round of cleaning While I'm cleaning this, I did want to just let you guys know a video update. So the Wednesday before Thanksgiving, I will not be posting. I'm sure that's not a surprise to anybody. We're all going to be with like our family and I know with me, we celebrate with my family one day and then we celebrate with Chase's family one day. So it's just a really busy week for us, but I will be back that Sunday um, with a new home update. So if you want to see everything that's been going on with the new house and how we're designing it and just some of the choices we made, definitely make sure you're subscribe because that will be coming up that Sunday after Thanksgiving. Now we just wait and let it dry and then once it's dried and I can see the coloring I can go back and do more if I need to. That's kind of the hard part with linen when you wet it it gets darker so it still looks dirty but it actually may be cleaner. I'll show you the bowl the second time. Still got pretty dirty just from doing that top part and then lightly going over across it again. But now I'm gonna grab my vacuum 
because up there it is so dusty. So I definitely need to get that cleaned. Well, I'm all for Christmas. All the happy smiles and the wishes. And I want it all from the lights to the mistletoe. you're missing I will keep you warm as soon as you remove that snow whatever we do we will be all right these holiday wonders will while I have my tide rack out I am gonna go ahead and clean this fireplace because can you see how dusty that is so this tide water is really good to clean so many things so I'm gonna take all this off and clean it and then put it back May all your wishes tonight come true The love I live, the dream I knew This Christmas I only want to be close to you People mention a lot when you have white furniture of like, oh, I could never have white furniture. You'd have to clean it all the time. I feel like the same applies with really dark furniture because like you're going to see dust and all of that. It just shows up the next day. Like I will clean this whole fireplace. And I promise you tomorrow I could probably do it again. So I don't know if you're just doing like browns in your home, but just remember it doesn't matter if your furniture is like white, black, the color of dirt, it all gets dirty the same amount. It's just how often you want to clean it. So when it's white or black, at least I can see it and I know I have to get it clean. But if you have like brown wood in your house, it doesn't mean your house isn't getting dirty. It just means it's hiding it well. So it's nice when people come over, but just remember to still do those deep cleans because it's still getting dirty. You just don't see it as often. something from the chimney I will keep you warm as soon as you remove that snow There is something about every time I pull out my Tide water and my rag, I just can't stop cleaning. So I thought I was going to be finished, but I'm like, oh, I already have it out. Now I'm going to clean my nightstands. And then you're going to see me move over to the windowsills. Um, I even cleaned the dresser, but it didn't film it or like it didn't save it for some reason. So I cleaned that as well. It just kind of gets the ball rolling and it gets you motivated and you start to see how well it's cleaning things that you didn't realize could be clean. Like there's spots on areas that you're like I didn't know I could get that clean and the tide water gets it clean so just remember that like if you're needing to get stuff done and you need to get motivated grab that hot bowl add some tide into it grab a rag and I promise you you will clean it like your entire house with that bowl of water feel it too nothing to hide falling in love It was so funny. So if you can tell right here, I had pulled our dog's beds into the bathroom just because I was filming and it's really hard. Like I don't want to trip over them and they get in my way. So I just slid them in there. Once I was done filming and cleaning, I forgot to move them out. And when we went to bed that night, I noticed Tiger was laying in the bathroom on his bed. I'll attach a photo here, but he's just been with me so long. He just was like, oh, mommy got the itch to switch. This must be my new home. And so he was just in there asleep, but it was so sweet. We're falling in love It's true this part of the year Got something I 
bought two of these trees last year from Walmart. I'll try to link something like it that they have this year, but they were so affordable. They were like 30 bucks. They may have even been 20 and you can add lights to it if you want to. Just grab a set um, when you're doing your Christmas shopping there at Walmart. But the one in my entry, I just left it bare and it looks so nice. I just put it in a basket and it makes it look so high end, but you didn't have to spend a lot of money. So keep that in mind when you're shopping, like get ideas from those higher end stores, but then you can go to Walmart and still get amazing quality, but you just get better prices, but you get the same look. So definitely keep that in mind when you're doing your Christmas shopping this year. so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it got you motivated. And I do want to thank Walmart again for sponsoring today's video. I hope you guys have a wonderful week and a wonderful time with your family. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. No, it's the time of the year when something's in store.